If you've ever wanted to know how mental health and spiritual warfare interact, then you're going to want to listen to this story. My name's Dakota. I've been seeing into the spiritual world since I was a kid. When I was younger, I happened to be keeping my own personal horse at a farm that also did equine-assisted psychotherapy, meaning mental health clients would come, work with a therapist in the arena, also with a horse. I happened to be doing chores at this farm, and I just got this feeling I should look in the spirit, and I looked up, and outside the stall, I saw these gigantic, bumbling boulder-like spirits. They had no chin, they did have a face, and they had stubby stubby legs and even stubbier arms. And two of them, and they were walking super slowly through the barn aisle. And I sort of went, watched them go, and as they were just getting behind me, I went, in Jesus' name, get out of here and be gone. I heard them respond to me, <sighs> We're going. And after I knew they had left, I then asked God, what were those? And God told me those were spirits of depression. And they had sort of been dropped off by mental health clients that were dealing with depression. And man, when they spoke, they did sound like, like depression. Better mental health might have a spiritual component. It might have just a work on your beliefs kind of component. It might have a trauma component. But if you like these stories and want more, then check out the Walk with Jesus community. God bless.